angle. <laughs> What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Seeker the Artist and this is Top Seeker Connoisseur. Shh. We be, we be, we be cooling with the shotters on the block. All these niggas talking all they could they get a shot. All these niggas and we're back with another one. And today we're back with hot talks. Meaning that we are gonna hot box the ride while we discuss some topics that are going around the world that we need to divulge in. You feel me? So without further ado, let's get it. Shit. Who you think gonna win the finals, bro? Finals. Hmm. Obviously the Lakers are gonna win it because sure. LeBron James. But then at the same time. The Miami here are some dogs, Listen. and the Miami Heats are coming with it, but like they're obviously gonna lose in game. Miami's on demon time. Bro. They're on demon time, you know. They're obviously gonna lose because like obviously they're not gonna let Miami beat Los Angeles Lakers yeah. with a stacked Anthony Davis, LeBron James, bro. The whole entire team is just like three different lineups in one, you know. So. We got that. What about you? What do you think? I think Miami has a chance. I think it might go down to Game Seven, bro. To be honest, for business-wise, yes. If 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 Miami don't fumble it next game, Game Seven, I can see that. You heard it here, folks. You heard it here first. He's saying Miami, possibly Game Seven. I'm saying we just wait and see, and just wait and see what's going on until then. Hmm. It's gonna be interesting because the more times how I view it is that they're using the basketball to distract everyone from the presidential election, which is going on right now. And who do you think is gonna win with the election? Shit, I don't even know, bro. It's obviously Trump, but that shit rigged, though. Of course, it's not rigged. Shit. It's, it's all rigged, bro. Fuck it, it's all rigged. It's all rigged, bro. You know. Donald J. Trump is obviously going to win because Biden is a freaking pedophile. <laughs> and he's like, you're, war, you're worse, you're better off with having Trump, an honest psycho, rather than have a deceiving, manipulative psycho in power. You know? So that's how we see the thing. What do you feel about social media, fam? Social media is a trap. Social media is definitely a trap. Social media is basically to get you distracted. And with you being distracted, everything and everything has power over you at that very point, you know? You're distracted from your your goals, dreams, and ambitions. <laughs> distracted from your dreams, goals, and ambitions, it distracts you from a lot of things. It, it, it informs you of what's going on around the world. Look at that squirrel, right there, coming really fast. But like, it distracts you from a lot of things. Social media is also a trap because it will have you feeling insecure at times because yo, there's just so much that goes on, on. So much that goes on in social on social media is like, you know, like what's what you don't even really know, you know what I mean? So that's my view and approach of social media. What's your view and approach of social media other than it's just a trap, bro? Yeah. It's negative negativity. You know, you don't gotta go in there every day, you know? Trust every me. Every time you go in there, you're just gonna see something negative that you don't wanna see. Trust me. And it sucks you in. Like, you know, you shape up your life. You shape your life from the things you consume. And the, the if you're consuming negativity, you're just going to be a negative-ass person. You're going to see yourself just, you know, your life just crumble in a sense. Surround yourself with positivity and love, and I guarantee you you're going to flourish. That's my key for the day. You get me? You know? So don't forget to... Hit that subscribe button, turn on your post notifications, and subscribe to the latest channel in the world. Top 
secret connoisseur. Shh. Get in. Get in. Man. Imagine having summer like all the time. Summer, I would hate it. You hate it? Yeah. I think I actually love it. Nah, because you know those ones where you like you just don't want the sun to be there anymore? <laughs> you know those ones you just heard in family? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Honestly, me personally, I know you're exactly what you're talking about. Like, yo, in summer, bro, I be sweating when I'm sleeping. You think I want to be sweating when I'm sleeping, bro? You, you got a point. You got a point. But at the same time, I'd rather, I'd still rather have summer over winter. Okay, let's say this weather we have right now, if it just was just the coldest, oh, I wouldn't be mad at all. If it was what? If this was the coldest weather. Oh, I'd be happy. I'd be happy. I wouldn't mind at all. But winter? I remember one time, bro, waited for a bus outside, bro. Thought I had fucking... Thought I, I thought I had to cut my fingers off, bro. Thought my fingers were done, so... You remember the time where I had to get my car hoisted up? And I had I went to go help the... I went to go help the tow truck guy. Mm. My fingers legit got frostbitten. I swear. I swear. Yeah, I actually thought I had frostbite, bro. <coughs> what the? My hand, bro, looking different colors and shit, bro. I'm like, bro, I'm, I'm done, still. Bro, silly me. I put my hot, my hand in hot, like warm water. Oh man, that was the worst feeling of my life. I had Shit, to put it between my legs, yeah. and then, bro, I was just like, ah. <laughs> nah, bro, I should put this in my pocket, bro. Shit hurt, bro. The, the 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 best way in that predicament is just put your hands in your crotch. Put your hands in your crotch, still, and you better hope that it, like, you know. It warms up quickly because damn that hurts. Shit, it's like what is it raining? Yeah. It's like spitting. <coughs> Any other topic, bro? Shit. What else what else, what else do you have you been seeing? I haven't seen no new music. <coughs> So music, music is out of the equation, you know. See, so you're trapped in, bro. That's why I don't go on my phone, fam. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm messaging someone. Oh. Hot box. Hot box. Hot box. We have. No, you don't. The backwards would have been nice. Indeed. So I need to know where y'all, what kind of smokers y'all are in the comments below. What y'all like to, you know, smoke with. And the type of strain y'all smoke. You get me? My absolute favorite, Gorilla Glue. KK's Fire as well. You know? I have overdone, basically overdone backwards to the point I don't even smoke backwards no more. It's just very small spliffs here and there. Just to keep my mind my mind on ease, you know? But other than that, a backwards would be nice right now, though. It would be so nice right now, bro. It would be it's a nice picture, bro. I like how fuck with it, bro. appreciate you, my G. Fuck with it. So yo, what kind of super pure, super power, super power would you like to have, bro? Super power? Yeah. I think super speed. Speed? Yeah. See, it's such a, it's a, such a tough question because. See, like, I would say, I would say time travel, right? Yeah. But then, if you think of it, you could use your speed to time travel. You know what I'm saying? So you could get saved two and one. So yeah, you get you get you could be fucking you could be hella fast, mm -hmm. and you could go back in time. Facts. Eddie could phase through shit. Bro, you see what I'm saying, bro? See, what I'm, see, what I'm, yeah, I think super speed stuff. For me, or maybe telepathy. See, that's what I I will I probably will want telepathy, because I want to know what you're thinking yeah. before you even think it, and I could be like, oh yeah, so I was thinking this, you know. You know how yo, you, Oh my god You know how Having telepathy Imagine having telepathy And you still couldn't read A female's mind That'd be mad 
Oh man. Oh man. You have a telepathy. You ask her. So yo, what do you want to eat? Hmm. It's just says I don't know. Not sure. Question mark. Question mark. Bro, what do you girls think of when you guys want to eat? It's like a trivia question, you know? <laughs> it's like a trivia question. At times, man, just don't really know what y'all want to eat. And man, just want to eat. You get me? Shit. For me right now, it just feels like time. Time is only an illusion. Time is only an illusion. Yeah. Because without time, right? Everything is depict. Um, everything is orchestrated from the sun, and then the moon. That's how you get your time. Like, you, like we talked about the clock, the arms, the hands. Oh, a lie. Yeah. Talking about that. Yeah. So basically, time's only an illusion. We go so fast because we think that time is against us. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh my gosh. Cause we feel like time is against us, but time is not against you. We're so caught up on basically, on basically, you know, seeing someone else's progress. We're like, for example, like, oh, this guy got it at 24. I should get it at 24. You turn 24, you're fucking disappointed. <laughs> I swear. But you can't watch someone else's progress, right? You just have to stay afloat, stay a course, and steady progress, you know? Slow and steady wins the race, basically. So basically, it's not, it's not a race, it's just a marathon. Everyone, like, if you, you would get there, if you put the time in, the time and effort, basically, to actually get what you want, and you will get it. Just manifest it. The power of the mind is so powerful, people don't understand. You only you only use probably about, they say roughly you only use about, how much, about like 30% of your brain? Not even, five. probably, I would say probably only 10% of your brain that five, you actually use. 5%? 5, 10. 5 to 10% of your brain, 5 to 8%. Yeah. You only use like 5 to 8% of your brain. If you actually explore your brain and actually... Wow, like you know how powerful your brain is. Your your, your cranium is just a powerful, powerful tool. So don't forget to basically train. Now you know when you're training your muscles, you're supposed to be training your brain too. Food for thought. Jeez. Yeah. You see them. Pretty really dark today. What the fuck? Yeah. Like I thought, it was so dark. I thought I had, I thought I had glasses on. Just now, bro. Yeah. It's dumb times, bro. It's pretty grim. Spooky season. Spooky zine. It's October tenth, fam. What the hell? Where's yo? So I'm saying, time has flew, but at the same time, time hasn't. This is crazy because everything just keeps on going and going. Nothing stops. Nothing stops. Nothing stops. This time we got a time we got we got to see legit the whole world stop just due to a virus. Just due to a virus, bro. What? We got to see the whole world stop due to a virus. We got to see a whole entire new world form and shape among like before our eyes. Right now, it's a crazy time to be alive. It's either... It's either you get yourself situated and get right, or you get left behind. You feel me? And I say that so humbly. Just get your shit and get it. I seen I seen recently on on recently that that Tory Lane's been charged involved in the shooting with Megan Thee Stallion. Hmm. 
Doesn't seem like it's a coincidence. It's not at all a coincidence. Yeah. After he tells his truth. After, yeah, after he drops his album, he gets bare fucking, you know? Bare people talking about him again. Because, yo, this shit's doing numbers. Yeah, everyone's talking about him again. And then, boom. He gets charged. Like, crazy, bro. Crazy. That's crazy because, like... My man, like, that, that, that tape was actually phenomenal. And I don't think that... Anybody right now could actually top that tape. Everyone has like there's different vibes to it and whatnot, but that Daystar tape was phenomenal. And it's sad to see, like, you know, like you just wanna see him win. I don't we don't know we don't know the full details, but like if everything is fabricated as he's saying it is, like come on, like do you know, like, crazy. man deserves to eat. Man deserves to enjoy the life and enjoy the fruit of the labor. Like, you know. It's a cold, cold world we live in, so just bundle up, you know. Put on some extra layers if you need to. It's out here. Feel me. What's your view on religion? Religion? Yeah. Shit, man. It's crazy stuff. It's very crazy. Because how I see it, all religion is the same. All religion all comes back to a higher power. Right? Comes back to a higher power. They're always preaching positivity and basically clean heart, clean mind. You know? And if you do these things, you'll go to heaven. Forget that. Oh, yeah? But, like, forget that. They all talk about the good and the bad. Bad yeah, versus evil. About, yeah. Right? They always talk about it. It's in everything. The movies. Everything. Games. Everything. Everything. Because, yes, the bad guy always wins, like, at that very moment but they eventually lose yeah. right so how I view religion religion is like I know I'm gonna offend some people by saying this but how I view religion is kind of like a cult you're born into it huh. you're born into it you're born into a Christian household you're a Christian you're born into a Muslim household you're a Muslim you're born into a, a Buddhist a family you're Buddhist you know, and it's crazy how everything just starts off as we're young and then we get imprinted into the things we see and we believe it's, it shapes our reality of what is. But in reality, you have to relearn what you were taught. Like, imagine if we never went to church, man. Like, what if, if, yeah, if I imagine that. We if we didn't go to, if we weren't taking a church, I guarantee you 100% man would be totally different today. Totally different. We'll still be there, bro. Yeah. Yeah. In a sense, church did help in a, a more somewhat, in, it wasn't organic. It was kind of like a superficial, superficial positive space. What, positive? What do you mean positive? Like a super, like we're young. We thought everything was good. We are just having fun. We didn't know what's what. You know? But now as you get older, you realize, yo, religion is like a cult in a sense. You go to church every Sunday. You pay money to a... You pay money to a church for whatever, to maintain the building. But more time, that money isn't used. They're pocketing in that guap. It, really <laughs> for the tithes and offerings, they're pocketing yeah, that guap yeah. and buying jets and homes and I cars. Like, like, bro, and it's tax free. How they work? What, 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 what job they doing, bro? How they get you know their money? Do you know their? You know what job they're doing? They are freaking just jamming the guap. Bro. They're they're doing their they're doing their 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 duties, and giving themselves a cut. Yeah. It's crazy. 
Because that so guap... put in checks, bro. Trust me. People give guap. Guap. Like, yo, I when I said, because in the Bible... In the Bible... <laughs> That's how they get you. In the Bible, <laughs> Jesus told you to give... In the everyone, Bible, boom, there's everyone just, oh, hey, here you go. Uh, can you, are you gonna do something, you know? Yeah, yeah, crazy, yeah. Bro. Everyone's just pockets, just getting ran right there, bro. It's crazy stuff. And you don't even know your pockets getting just ran. Just a bucket in front of you, just they're already holding it, you know, just shaking it. <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness. Yo, they're shaking it, yeah, fam. Give me more. <laughs> you know, because in the Bible, how much does it say to give? 20% of your salary? Or yeah, uh, 30%? Good. Why is that written in the Bible? I got a question. Why is that written in the Bible? Help me understand this. If you know this, write it in the comment below. Because honestly, like, bro, it's madness, yo. To see, like, it's wild, you know? It's wild. I don't know, but going to church did help me see things from a different perspective, bro. Yeah, for sure. But there is no church in the wild. What do you mean the wild? Out here is the wild, bro. The streets are the wild. You're going outside is the wild, wild west, bro. Facts. Because shit's just pre unpredictable, bro. And there's just some, like, by mind people, you feel me? Facts. So. Yeah, I found there's just some people that just don't care. Mm-hmm. You know? mm -hmm. They don't feel, fam. And it's scary, because, like, how do you not feel? Exactly. Like, in order to do that, fam, shit. Like, how do you not feel? Like, that's actually, like, wow. <laughs> like, how do you not feel? You just gotta be one cold mother sucker not to feel still. Yeah. How do you get like that? There has to be some traumatic some shit. Some so you've seen some crazy, PTSD. Seen some crazy shit happen. It has to be. It's PTSD, you know? Yeah, some crazy shit happened yeah. in your life. Yeah, and then you're just gone. Damn. Hmm. It's crazy, but beautiful at the same time. Life is what you make it. And you can make it so beautiful. So just live your life and do your thing, you feel me? This is Top Secret Connoisseur. And we'll be back with another one just now. So without further ado, it's your boys. We out. Peace. Better not get too close, yeah. Better not get in my way, yeah. Man, I'm on the grind. Man, I gotta get paid. Remember those days and nights.